So today we're going to take a look at lesson three. We're going to be expressing metric capacity measurements in terms of a smaller unit. We're going to model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric capacity. Okay, so we're going to be looking a lot with liters and milliliters. Okay, so a milliliter is one one thousandth of a liter. Okay, milli meaning thousandth. So five liters would then be five thousand milliliters. 38 liters would be 38,000 milliliters. Going in the opposite direction, 49,000 milliliters would then be 49 liters. Okay, we have 54 liters, and then we multiply that times 1,000 to get 54,000. And then our last one, 92,000 milliliters, would then be 92 liters. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit similar to the kilograms and grams that we worked with. So for number two, two liters is 2,000 milliliters. So two liters, 500 milliliters would be 2,500 milliliters. Okay. So same thing with letter B. 70 liters would then be 70,000 milliliters plus the 850. Okay. Next one gets a little bit different because notice again we only have two digits for milliliters. So we're going to need a zero as a place marker in our hundreds place. So our 33 th liters is 33,000 milliliters. Then we have 15 milliliters. Okay. Same thing with the next one. We have 2,000, and this time we need two zeros to make sure that our 8 stays in our 1's place. Okay. Now going from small unit to large unit, okay, we see that we have 3,000's, so that means we have 3 liters, and we have 812 liters left over. Okay, same thing here, we have 86,000, so we have 86 liters, and then just 3 milliliters, okay? All right, so moving on to some addition and subtraction problems, okay? Number 3A, we have, notice, the units. You always want to pay attention to the units. This is milliliters, this is liters, okay? So, one thing that we can do is see that this is 1 liter, 700 60 milliliters. So when we go to add this up, we have 40 liters plus 1 liter to get us 41 liters. And then we have 760 milliliters left over. Okay? Doesn't give us a specific unit, so we can keep it mixed if we want. Okay? Now, our next one here, we have 7 liters, which I'm going to convert into 7,000 milliliters minus 3,400 milliliters. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to switch it down to the smaller unit. Okay, so we go to subtract these out. Okay, and we get 3,600 milliliters. Okay, which is also 3 liters, 600 milliliters. Either answer would be correct. Okay, moving on to letter C here. This time we need the smaller unit for C and D. So we're going to take 25,478 milliliters, add it to 3,812 milliliters. Okay, I'm going to convert it right into the smaller unit. Okay, so now when we go to add them up, we get 29,290 milliliters. Okay, next one, again we need smaller units, so we're going to take 21,000 milliliters. We're going to convert our 21 liters to milliliters. Next we're going to take, we're going to subtract 2,008 milliliters. Again, notice those zeros that we got to put in there to make sure that our 8 stays in the hundreds place, or the, I'm sorry, the ones place, and to make sure that our 2 stays in the thousands place. So we have to put those zeros in there. Okay, so now when we go to subtract, we're going to need to decompose 100 tens, okay, and turn that into 99 tens so that we can have 10 ones subtract. So we have 10 minus 8. Okay. So we get 18,992. Okay, so now our last two here we can keep in mixed units. Okay. So we have 7 liters, 425 milliliters, minus 500. 47 milliliters. Okay, notice how I have a blank spot over here in my liters. Okay, so looking at our milliliters, we see that we're going to need 
more milliliters is our top number. So we're going to need to decompose one of our liters into 1,000 milliliters. So now I have 1,425 milliliters minus 547 milliliters. Okay, so now we can go through, do our decomposing. Okay. 11 minus 4 gets us 7. Okay, now we see that we have 13 minus 5, and that gets us 8. Okay, and then our liters is just 6. Okay, same thing with our next one here. We have 31 liters, 433 milliliters, minus 12 liters, 876 milliliters. Okay, so now again, we see that we have... We don't have enough milliliters to subtract. So we're going to decompose one of our liters into 1,000 milliliters. I'm going to stick a 1 right in front of it. Okay, so now we can go through and subtract these out. Okay, we need to do some decomposing. Okay, and then again we have 13 minus 8, and that gets us 5. Okay, so now here we have 30 minus 12. Okay, so our final answer, 18 liters, 557 milliliters. Okay, so on to our word problem. So again, just like we do with all our word problems, we need a tape diagram, a solution, and then an answer statement. Okay, so number four is to make fruit punch, John's mother combined 3,500 milliliters of tropical drink, 3 liters, 95 milliliters of ginger ale, and one liter, 600 milliliters of pineapple juice. First thing we need to do is order each quantity of drink from the least to the greatest. Okay, now right away we see that we have some different units here. So what I'm gonna do is since I have two of these in mixed, I'm gonna convert this one into mixed. So I'm gonna make it become three liters, 500 milliliters. Okay, now I can compare. So I want to go from least to greatest. Okay, well obviously pineapple juice is our least. With one liter, 600 milliliters. Okay, these both have three liters, but this one only has 95 milliliters. Okay, so that means ginger ale is next. At three liters. 95 milliliters and then finally we would have the fruit the tropical drink okay at three liters 500 milliliters so you can see least to greatest here now we need to know how much punch did John's mother make so we're going to set up our tape diagram here okay we have three liquids that are being combined so we have one liter 600 milliliters 3 liters, 95 milliliters, and then 3 liters, 500 milliliters. And we're trying to find out the total of those three. Okay. So now we can line these up to add. Okay. So we're going to add up our milliliters first. Okay, so 0 plus 5 and then 0 plus 9. 6 plus 5 is 11. So we have a 1,195 milliliters, which we know we can turn into 1 liter, 195 milliliters. Adding up our liters over here, we see that we have 7 liters. Okay, so John's mother made 8 liters. 195 milliliters, okay, because we added that 7 plus the 1 from over here. Okay, number 5, a family drank 1 liter 210 milliliters of milk at breakfast. If there were 3 liters of milk before breakfast, how much is left? Okay, so you see is left, that's your clue that we need to do some subtracting. So we're going to set up our tape diagram. Okay, we know that we started with 3 liters. Okay. 1 liter, 210 milliliters was had at breakfast. We need to know how much is left. Okay, so now we can see that we need to subtract 3 liters minus 1 liter, 210 milliliters. 
Okay, so looking at our milliliters, obviously we're going to need some milliliters over here. So we're going to decompose one of our liters into 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so 0 minus 0 is 0. Okay, but now in our tens place we have 0 minus 1. So we're going to decompose nine, uh, 10 hundreds into 9 hundreds so that we can have 10 tens. Okay, now we have 10 minus 1 is 9, and then 9 minus 2 is 7. Okay, and then we have 1 liter. Okay, so 1 liter, 790 milliliters of milk is left. Alright, so finally we have Petra's fish tank. Contains 9 liters, 578 milliliters of water. If the capacity of the tank is 12 liters, 455 milliliters of water, how many more milliliters of water does she need to fill the tank? Okay, so the tank is not completely full. It has this much water in it. It could hold a total of this, and we need to know how much more water could be added to it. All right, so we set this up, and we know the total tank is 12 liters, 455 milliliters. Okay, so she has 9 liters, 578 already in there. We need to know how much more can she add to it. Okay, so I'm going to set this up. Okay, and we know we need to subtract. Okay, so looking at our milliliters again, we have a bigger number on the bottom, so we need to decompose 1 liter into 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so that our milliliters on top is larger. Okay, so now we can go through. Need to do some decomposing. So we have 15 minus 8, 7. Okay. Now we have 14 minus 7 is 8. And then finally, 13 minus 5 is another 8. Okay. All right. And then finally, with our liters, we have 11 minus 9 gets us 2. So 2 liters, 887 milliliters of water is needed.